If you've used pivot tables at all, you understand the addictive power they give you for grouping dated information. You can group by year, by month, by quarter, and even by day and hour. But if you want to group by something like day of week, you'll need to do a little prep work first. Let's take a look. Here we have raw data for subscriptions to an email newsletter. Each row provides the date that a user subscribed. Let's quickly build a pivot table that summarizes new subscriptions by month. For convenience, we'll first convert the data into a table. This will make things a lot easier later when we start working with the source data. Now we'll summarize the table with a pivot table. To start off, let's add the email address field as a value. This gives us a count of all email subscriptions and lets us know that the pivot table is working correctly. Now let's add the date as a row label. With the date field ungrouped, we get a new row in our pivot table for each row in our source data, which isn't very useful. Let's group the date field by month. Now at least we have a useful summary. But how do we group by day of week? To do that, we'll need to add a new column to our source data. But first, let's look at how we're going to calculate day of week. We're going to use the weekday function, which returns a number for each day of the week. To illustrate, let's use weekday on the first 10 days in December. As you can see, December 1, a Sunday, returns 1. Monday returns 2. Tuesday returns 3, and so on. December 8th, another Sunday, returns 1. We can use this information to build a small helper table and look up the day name with a VLOOKUP function. We'll name our helper table day table and test it out with VLOOKUP. As you can see, we get a day name for each day of the week. Now let's build this out in our source data. First, we add a column called weekday. Then, we create a formula using VLOOKUP and weekday as before. Because we're in a table, Excel uses structured references and copies the formula down in one step. Back in our pivot table, we need to refresh to pick up the new column. Then add the weekday field to the pivot table. Now we have all of our data summarized by day of week. 